The Crypto Markets Update is presented by Grayscale, the world's largest digital currency asset manager. All right, checking in on Bitcoin. The coin is Bitcoin price XVX index currently trading at 48100 $14. Bitcoin is down about 3.5% over the past 24 hours. The Coinbase Ether price ETX index is trading at $3,922. ETH sliding about 2.7% for the day. The new DFX Coindesk's DeFi index is trading at 394 points right now retreating about two and a half percent. Joining us now to discuss the crypto markets is Joe Orsini, Director of Research at Eagle Brook Advisors. Hello there, Joe. So Lawrence mentioned earlier that a few thousand Bitcoin has been taken out of exchanges. Inflation is at its highest since we've seen in three decades. These are all bullish signals, but we're still seeing the crypto markets in retreat. Why is that? Sure. Thank you for having me on. So I think there's a number of factors for maybe the near term uncertainty in crypto markets. Again, just as you said, it's the uncertainty related to the Fed's process of normalization, and that's really the pace of tapering, as as well as the number of hikes in 2022. So naturally, that will weigh on risk assets and Bitcoin included. Um, Does not change the long-term thesis. The long-term thesis certainly remains intact. Um, Hi, just to follow up on that. So we have a lot of Fed meetings uh, coming this week, including from the U.S. Fed, which will be uh, tomorrow and the day after. Do you see any immediate impact? I mean, once it becomes clear that interest rates are likely to rise next year, do, do you think you will see an impact on price? Because there's some controversy about this in the crypto community. Yeah, so so we're really seeing maybe more correlation with uh, maybe near-term inflation expectations rather than the level of inflation. And so if you kind of look at break-evens, they've come lower in, in, you know, since the middle of November, which also highlights you know, the highs that Bitcoin placed in November as well. So um, it's really kind of how the Fed does navigate, you know, the supply chain issues and concerns over inflation and how they remain transparent with, with their plans. And, you know, we think transparency is most important rather than kind of their actions thereof. So, Joe, I mean, it, but it, it, it counter to this is that maybe ha- have we run out of steam with Bitcoin and are, are investors instead looking to say ETH and some of the other uh, layer ones, some of the alts there? Uh, because they kind of view this this whole rally in Bitcoin due to inflation sort of run out of steam. It's gone as far as it can go. What else can you do with it? And so now they're looking for greener pastures. You know, that would, that would certainly make sense. Um, you know, as investors understand the different use cases from different projects and protocols and, and they can kind of see the difference in drivers of returns, it does make sense that they have maybe diversified outside of Bitcoin. However, Bitcoin's longer term thesis is really, you know, increasing demand for a hard, you know, hard coded scarce asset. And that's not going to change. Um, in terms of kind of traditional finance and traditional portfolios, they're really just getting their feet wet in terms of understanding at Bitcoin in their portfolios. And that's still really in the early innings of, of really just gaining exposure for both institutional and even retail investors. So Joe, in terms of your clients, are you advising them to buy right now? or And if so, would they buy Bitcoin or other altcoins? So our clients are you know, interested in all things, mostly Bitcoin for now. Uh, Bitcoin is the easiest to understand in terms of the wealth management, RA industry, and really Again, just beginning to invest there uh, as well. So, um, you know, Bitcoin, we always say Bitcoin should be the first step for every investor into digital assets. ETH should be second. And then we can have the conversation about other altcoins and different use cases, et cetera. <laughs> 